Good evening, good evening. Welcome to the live Facebook tonight. And this is uh, Martin here. Thank you for coming. So please share and like this. So tonight we'll be talking on Smart Roby, right? With the particularly focus on the US market. Okay, so let's get started, everybody. So welcome, welcome to our live Facebook every Wednesday night, uh, different topic. So tonight we'll be talking about Smart Roby is trading the magnificent seven stock for the second half of 2024. We're going to show you some back-tested results that we have done uh, back in uh, March and May. They have done pretty well. And the Magnificent Seven, if those of you who are looking for an entry, definitely this would be definitely suitable for you if you are looking for uh, possibly entering, uh, buying back NVIDIA or Apple stocks. And that has helped some of our existing member who already got in. And of course, Smart Roby, you can get a copy of it from the Google Play Store as well as from the Apple Store uh, free of charge and use. And don't forget, this coming Wednesday night is the uh, Invest Fair where Smart Roby will be in the Mid Valley. And if you happen to be in Kuala Lumpur or coming down for two days of uh, educational and talk, I think Invest Fair definitely have a great talk, not only uh, you know meeting up at Booth 103, but there are other uh, uh, interesting talks and account opening prize to be win. I think bring your family along and also bring uh, your children along and let them learn about investing in this fair in here. So don't forget, come over to Booth 103 and say hello and uh, hope that some of our solution that we have done so far will probably help you greatly in. So tonight's sharing will be focusing on the Magnificent 7 with Smart Roby. Now last week we did start the series of the Smart Roby, introducing Smart Roby, some of the features of Stock Trade Idea, and what is it like, you know, with the Pentagon Guider with Smart Roby, and how do you monitor this using the VSA uh, uh, system in here, and how you want to set it up, and also look at the possible portfolio if I will be trading with the Magnificent 7 portfolio in it. How do we go around that? So this is purely focusing on the Magnificent 7. Uh, many people find it a, really a pain point and I think that uh, what to buy, which market and of course uh, right now our KLCM market has done pretty well, almost up 10% over the last six months in here. Would KLCI still or the Busan Malaysia remain to be the uh, best stock exchange in terms of our local or uh, some of you may want to migrate over and looking into the US market. Of course the US market has its own restriction because of the number of shares but many of the broker now are offering fractional investing which you can go down as low as 100 ringgit to buy them. Well when to buy, when to sell, I think many of you would have known this could be addressed by Pentagon Guider. Right? And of course if you are beginner Right, uh, this is definitely one of the uh, uh, you know education, or should I listen for tips? Because many people kind of get first time get started, you know, by listening tips. Hey, you know, Nvidia is pretty good. Uh, I wanted to buy that, and uh, as such that I got in and bought it. And then when by the time I bought it, the stock didn't move. And uh, what should I do with it? And this is really a dilemma. All right, uh, for those of you who have already started, right, will probably be, you know, either in these two camp, either in the listen for tips or do it yourself, learn and do it yourself. I do hope that those of you uh, who are, you know, first time listening or even uh, using Smart Ruby would realize we are definitely in the second camp, okay? The second camp is learning to do it yourself and Smart Ruby will be that tools. And of course, where do I get those uh, resources. Now, on our Trade VSA website, as well as what we do every Wednesday night, I do, I do think that uh, what we are providing should get you the resources to get there. After all, our members who have used uh, the resources and learned it has done pretty well. Some of it is up almost 30-40% over the last three months, right? Of course, that speaks for itself. And we are also happy some of you 
do you know, reach out to us, right? Wanted to become a smarter trader and investor, and we have prepared something for you too, right? And of course, these methods you need to follow them very disciplinedly, all right? And uh, if you do follow the cost of the medicine, like what you always say, you know, when you take the antibiotics, you should come out on the other side successfully, especially in this market here. So tonight, the Magnificent 7 is just a little bit of taste what is likely to be ahead of you if you are looking to trade those. So our product, the Smart Roby, you see, we believe will be the solution because it does act like a Smart Roby existence. And before you want to go in, you want to check it out whether this is worthwhile to be in. And those of you, we combine both fundamental and technical. But for tonight talk, we already selected those Magnificent 7 for you, right? The Magnificent 7 stock. And uh, it's just going to be market timing whether you want to go in or not. And of course, those of you who have uh, been using it a bit, give me a, a thumbs up and uh, let me know how uh, uh, happy or satisfied you've been using that. It would be great right? Uh, to see the audience who is listening in here, how the Smart Roby, and we believe Smart Roby is a systematic way, highly automated trading decisional apps, okay? So we do have the great amount of stock trade idea. Many of you are familiar, but I'm just going to go through them very shortly. We have the full trading plan with exit, with uh, stop loss, with profit taking, you know, all those in play. And also very important is the in-app alert, which is really part of what we want to share with you tonight. This feature should get you started. And of course, uh, it does cover the... Uh, Busan Malaysia, KLSC, the S&P 500, SGX, and Hong Kong market. And each stocks, uh, there will be a bullishness rating calculated by Smart Romy, proprietary formula, both on the technical side and the fundamental side. If you can see from here, example, uh, the Pentagon flow is 87%. That tells you it is very, very bullish in this manner. In 93%, those are, again, bullishness. Uh, and also, it's in the red Pentagon. Right, and um, how it got started is my association with my Sifu, uh, Mr. Tom Williams, father of a volume spread analysis in here. And uh, he always attempt to explain the market by looking into the activity, right, related to the price and volume. So we have to study the supply and demand. And very important is the manipulation, right, of the forces. Because if you have been following a bit, uh, Mr. Tom William always talk about the underlying, you know, what are the smart monies are doing in here, whether they are using the news to distribute in the uh, unsuspected public in here and under bad news to be uh, buying. And of course, if you look back uh, during the month of April when, you know, Apple was falling and falling bad news, I think you all heard about it. Right. And fast forward today, Apple is already new high. Right. So the green Pentagon based on this century old price volume in here uh, as a trading indicator and is a visually displayed both using the green Pentagon and then the red Pentagon for exit. So everyone now can trade with more confidence and uh, consistent. Right. The only thing is the sensitivity of the Pentagon. When the market is choppy of sideways, then we can regard that Pentagon Guider can be insensitive. But when there is a good trend, it will be able to pick up and many of you able to run. Just like in this example in here, especially for new users, Smart Roby able to use the Pentagon Guider much easier when the green signifying the entry and red Pentagon signifying the exit. So it's all the complication of the market has been removed. Right, so reading chart become much simpler and what you need to understand is along the way there are what we call signs of strength and sign of weaknesses where some of you may want to uh, re-enter or exit or add on. You can do that as part of your discretion but if you're just purely on doing the entry on Green Pentagon, Exit Pentagon, in this case there will be almost a 300% return for one of the stocks. I think even WCT was very, very similar to, and also uh, I think there was another one, uh, Notion VTech uh, from the Green Pentagon is almost 200% in here. Now, 
in the Smart Robi apps, uh, we have the typical uh, indicators as well as signal that you see in here. So very clearly, every stock that you see will have a green pentagon and a red pentagon signifying the entry and the exit. And in between that, there will be two moving average, a 20 and a 40 day moving average. All right. Uh, we also have the volume and the ATR stop loss, which is very important should the market mark below, all right, the, the bar here mark below, that's where you want to exit. But of course, if you see the red pentagon, that also signifying you for you to exit as, as another part of it. So normally when you see the red pentagon, you don't want to do anything because the market may be moving sideways or downwards. Right. Uh, some of the best uh, trade idea comes from uh, these three items that you see in the Smart Roby. All right, we have the fundamental stock collection, which is this option in here. So generally, these are more suitable for beginners. Like you want to look for fundamental stocks, does pay a bit of dividend. Then next, we have the stage two shares. Huh? The stage two shares are those shares that is going in a nice uptrend. Okay, going up in a nice way or beginning, slightly beginning the uh, uptrend in here. And then we finally, we have our flagship, which is our Pentagon Guider listing here. Right, this is the Pentagon Guider listing in here. And that's where uh, you are likely to buy at the beginning uh, of the stage two, just before the market go higher, right? Which is important that many trader investors must understand where the market is. If you do understand that, half of the, uh, the so-called uh, difficulty to understand the market is already uh, disappeared. All right. What I meant for that is that if you understand uh, something that we talk about the mark, the VSA stock cycle, where market move generally in the four stages, uh, influenced by the smart money activity. We have the first stage, which is the accumulation, which I'm just going to go through here. All right, accumulation. Stage one accumulation. Where the market moves sideways. Let me just draw them up for you here. Okay, they move sideways in here. So once the accumulation is completed, where we see very low volume here, okay, then we will see start to see higher volume and then we will see the market starts to mark up. Okay, so when the market marks up again, prices can also go in this, not this one here, can also go like this. Okay, then we have increasing volume on pullback. We have less volume going up. Okay, so this would be the stage two. Okay, stage two markup. And then we come to a point where good news are coming, which is, I do believe the uh, NASDAQ may be undergoing a little bit of distribution, right? This is where we would likely to be. And you'll see a lot of heavy activities at the same time there's a lot of good news and smart money use this pretense again to sell okay sell to the unsuspected public so again here you can see market will start to move up right and then you have a little bit lower volume in here some higher little bit of volume in here but generally the volume is distributing under the disguise of good news, all right? And then finally, when the smart money has completed their good evening, Nora, thank you for coming, thank you for coming. And when the market has distributed to the unsuspected public here, then you'll see market will start to move down on its own weight, right? And you see heavy selling here, right? And then it goes into the same process again. So. This is the stage four markdown. All right. So time and time again, in order to understand each of the magnificent stock that we are talking about, understanding these market stages will definitely give you the extra edge, whether you should be in or not. So the indicators that we have on our smart row B, what I've shared with you in here, can do the job to enable you. Oh, at least, you know, when you see green pentagon as a time 
The first green pentagon, the entry is always on the second bar. Okay, green pentagon comes out next day. You check it out in here. And in this case, we make it easier by introducing a new feature tool, which is called the watch list, which we're going to get down to it. So this is a good one. Make sure you take a picture of this one here that simplified. Uh, able to aware of the market suggest is important. So we're going to be looking at the magnificent, looking at the market stages in here. So let's take a look. So you can see from here, right, uh, Apple is definitely in the uptrend. Okay, Apple is the uptrend. And uh, so a point of green pentagon here and here, this will be the ideal entry before the market goes up. So that's why we always tell people, uh, watch out for, this is on the trading view. But if you go to the uh, chart, let's talk about uh, Google. Okay, Google in this case, right, let me just bring up the chart. I want to share with you here. All right, just going to go back. So you just bring it up like here that you see. Can I make it a bit? Yep, okay, make it a bit smaller. So you just go over to the S&P 500, right? And uh, next, you just go to Roby chart here. Click on this one. And then you're able to see huh? uh, Alphabet. Okay, Google. And we'll look at the chart. So right now you're seeing the same thing as you see on this side. Switch to a one month chart here. So this is a, a very good uh, example to ready to get in. Okay, you can see from the chart wise, there is just waiting for the green pentagon. So right now you have a support here at $175. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to you know, speed things up. Right now, the only opportunity coming now is Google. So what later I'm going to share with you the strategy to trade all this. No, you just have a portfolio. You divide it over seven trades or five trades over here. Later on, when, when we go through the, the uh, virtual portfolio, I will explain that in here. But the opportunity is coming. So right now, for those of you who are our VSA 360 member, you can see market now is in the pullback stage. We just need that market to turn back to the green bar here. And that's where your entry, or at least you wait for the green pentagon to come. So right now, uh, the market's not open yet. I think it's, it's maybe already open 9.30. Okay, it will get, up, it will get updated soon. So you still have got some resistance here at 178. All right, so let's take this aside here. And uh, NVIDIA, right, since Green Pentagon, which is around $80, has gone up a fair bit. So you can go switch it off, go to NVIDIA, NVDA. Oh, let me bring it back here again. Okay. Hit it here. Okay, hit that one. Bring up the chart. So it's kind of interesting to see uh, NVIDIA right uh, which is ongoing up right so you also see that there is a price correction here so you can see from the chart that i have here right there were uh all right we will just ignore the the high up trust i think they eventually will probably fix the uh, chart here so you can see from here even on the one month chart uh, there is a line change okay there was a line change here market started to move up so still in the up market. So if you were to now also take note, this is still in a up stage two. Volumes are lowering, but the question is, do you want to jump in or not? Okay, if you want to jump in right now, uh, market was up 3% yesterday. So eventually today, what was it? I did mention that uh, if the market has some sort of pullback, mild pullback, you can trade it. Okay, that is uh, a good stock to, to be to be in. Okay, but usually the best entry will still switch back to a three month is when on the 26th of April. All right, you can see from the chart here, 26th of April would be the best entry at that time. If you have any question, uh, do let me know. All right, uh, so we have the Meta, the other stocks. 
Okay, so switch back to here. You go over to Meta on the apps. It's four nine nine and forty nine cents. So if you look back from here, the market has started to uh, have green pentagon also on the fifteenth of May. All right, still up. So it's a nice pullback right now. So you can see from here. For those of you who like to buy pullback, this may be an opportunity buying around the four 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 ninety nine. And again, you know, there is fractional investing that you don't have to use so much. You can still get into it. The overhead resistance is five two zero, so that will be somewhere I want to take some profit. But the question is always going to be, can I buy Amazon, Nvidia, and keep for long term? Again, the generative AI. We do not know when it's going to end, or will it be continued forever? But in terms of the context, what I want to share with you: if you are able to trade this stock in and out, your result may be better. And for some of those who choose to invest in the longer term, right, you need to understand also, you know, you buy and then you sell. The timing-wise, would be better. So you can see from here, if you use the timing. Of the Pentagon Guider buying back around this level here, that is actually a not bad strategy. You can see here, right? Market stages, what I just draw. So let me just erase this. So you can see from this end point, okay. You have the here, right? And now you are on the uptrend. You can see that, right? So the most common question is. Can buy at these stocks. We do not know how far this thing can go. It can. Uh, what we do see is right now it's still in the uptrend. It may start to distribute, but the risk is slightly higher. So just need to watch out. Okay, if the market were to turn, what you do? do right, it's not the best entry. The best entry is actually down here. Yeah. So as a trader, you need to know your entry point and just don't listen. Ah. Okay, so that's why we talk about learn DIY, learn to do it, and if you learn to do it, much better will be here. Uh, to put the story in short, the only stock that is uh, allowed to buy is Google because Google we are waiting for the green pentagon. Uh, Microsoft also turned green pentagon started to move up in here. You got lots of line change, and you are touching also the red line, so expects a bit of pullback here, right? And then you have Tesla's. Also turn green pentagon, but there's a fair bit of resistance around 190, so it needs to congest. But definitely a support is around 175, so that's a good level too. So these are things over time when you learn it, you will pick it up too. All right, uh, Tesla do keep note. Uh, year to date is down 25 percent. Microsoft is up 20 percent. I do think that Tesla at one point of time, it's going to play catch up right now. All right, so. And, uh, any other stocks you can also look here. So you can look at uh, others stocks like TSM. Okay, TSM is not in here. Uh, Lum Research, yes. This is another favorite of mine. Lum Research, which is uh, let me just bring out the. Okay. I call the Magnificent Seven Plus because Magnificent Seven is too few stocks to buy. So you can also add this one in here. This is again uh, another semiconductor company that make chips also, servicing them. So you can see it's right now around one thousand over dollars. Just very similar to Broadcom, AVGO. A lot of the semiconductor stocks are doing very similar. Okay, AVGO. This is Broadcom. You can see Broadcom just shot up that day. With a very very good results from here onwards, you see 14, 13, and this is 12, which is up a lot in here, right? So a lot of the semiconductors sort of take off from 1500 to in here. So this is the part, you know, as I said before, can get a bit of scary, you know. Once it started to run here, I usually don't want to get in, but my entry point would probably be here, just after the green pentagon. And if you have watched many of my Smart Roby uh, show and breakfast show. I always say buy after the next. Any questions so far? If you do, just pencil those in here, right? So 
what we want to do is to set the Magnificent 7 watch list. So this is where I want to share with you how you can navigate back. So you just go back to hit the uh, you hit the home button right at the below there. All right. And then you want to just scroll up and you look at the pin watch list. So you see, you can see pin watch list. I will use this one. Okay, my pin watch list, I'm just going to put here. Let me see how I'm going to do that. Huh? I've never tried the pin watch list option. Or maybe I'm just going to go back to here. Let me just give it a try first. I remember I did it before. Oh no. So, okay. Looks like I have to figure out how to do the pin watch list here. Okay, there's no pin watch list. Let me, let me see how to do the pin. I gotta ask my technical people how to put the pin watch list. But let me, let me it's okay. Uh, we're gonna move on. I wanna show you is how you set up your watch list. So first thing is that you can see from here, I have the magnificent watch list. Very important because when you set this thing up, you can really track where they are. So you can create, hit the plus, select the exchange. So in this case, you restrict it to S&P 500 and you can put the, uh, in this case, I just put it M7 plus. All right. One of the reasons why, because I already selected the magnificent seven here. So from here onwards, I hit the Magnificent 7 and I go on here, then I add the stocks, okay? So like now, just now, Magnificent 7 Plus means beside the 7, Microsoft, Apple, there are other technology stocks you can also add in inside there, which give you a brighter, more range to play with. So just say we add Apple Plus, okay? So you can see Apple is in there and we can set a alert. The price range, all right. So let's say we want to buy the price range around. Uh, okay, so this one is that you need to look at the chart. Okay, let me just bring it Apple here. Okay, let's say I want to buy when the market go to 208. So I put 208. Okay, if it goes higher, we will break 220, I like to go in also because I want to buy on the breakout. Okay, so from then onwards, you can just hit save and then you can see. Right, so in my alert, just show it to you. Okay, sorry, I didn't show it to you just now. Huh? Right, I have set the price below. I changed switch to alert so this is where I set the alert at 208 right why 208 is at this uh, got too big okay maybe I just want to buy around here 208 okay so I set it at 208 so if it does go to 208 I would like to buy or it breaks 200, uh, 220 I set 220 here so when I finish I just click save so you can see from here below 208 and 220 I will definitely get an alert and that's very very powerful for those of you who want to buy Apple right because right now it's just range you want to make sure it goes higher or some of you uh, like to buy it right right now in me it doesn't make sense you either buy at a support or at the resistance okay you buy on the breakout of the 220 or the 206 even if you come back at 206 you can consider too so this is another way Okay, now I'm going to ask the audience, uh, Nora, those who are listening, what stock would you like me to set into the watch list here? Okay, next one, just give it to me. So I'll show you how I'll do it. Okay, we're going to add another stock. These are all US S&P 500 stocks. Huh? Okay, if not, I will add Microsoft. Okay. So I edit Microsoft and you can see the alert is not set. So I need to hit the alert, right? I edit the alert and the lower and the upper range. So here I'll just switch over to MSFT. Okay, MSFT and I'll bring this up. 
So definitely if it breaks out four five okay four five one fifty cent okay for there will be the upper range ah, okay four five one fifty cent okay lower range if we do break back to here four three eight and then I would set safe you can add the remark here so if you want to okay uh, buy opportunity okay go down and you press save so that way you can see from here at 438 I will get a lower bound alert and at 451 I will get an upper bound alert so that way you will know you won't miss out on Microsoft should Microsoft go higher to 550 do you want to be in or not but of course right you can also set in which is when the third red pentagon in here it will alert you just like some of this waiting one you can see ah, huh? like uh, martin 2 alerted so alerted you can go here there green pentagon date alerted is 31st of january right and echo west also 31st of january so it will tell you that right and there are three more stocks waiting right uh, air, air asia x which i did not set so that's what it's still waiting so you can see there are two stocks waiting all right so i'm just going to go uh fast forward a bit the initial stocks that are set for you magnificent seven you can check this one now you can see all of them are green pentagon you can see apple is green amazon google is red just now we share with you right so google is the one the next stocks you can go in Meta is green, Microsoft is green, Nvidia is green, and Tesla is green. So these are the stocks. So the way to trade is, is if you have a virtual account, say uh, ten thousand US dollar, you can divide equally for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven stocks, right? So ten thousand seven stocks works out maybe uh, okay ten thousand divided by seven stocks works out to be 1428 lah. so aga aga to 1500 US dollar to trade each stocks that will be the right strategy trade so you have equal weightage in it I know some people would uh, uh, tamba sikit here tamba sikit here but we want to have a systematic approach so that way your result is very systematic I know you want to you know uh, Sini taro, sana taro, don't do that. I don't recommend you. Have a proper approach to the market and that way if anything happen, you can always go back and analyze your approach. So you can see from here, uh, when, when we set up this, you can see all the stocks that we set up. When the green alert comes or the red alert comes, you will be notified. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So that's the setting up. All right now next section I'm going to talk about is forward testing now because of the seven stock that I have is less I've used the magnificent seven plus so if you look look back uh, we started back in April compared to the S&P 500 which April was down four percent we were up 17 percent and that's how we got the uh, $50,000 we got profit of 8,720 which is a 17 percent uh, return on this so it is part of our uh, training that we do for our members, right? The VSA 360 member is called the Pony Express Quick Trade of 50,000 US dollar. So we have 50,000 US dollar. So we divide by the equal trades. Uh, right? We started in March, but this only started sometime in April. So we are 17% return, all right? There were eight trades, uh, no losing trades uh, because the medium seven has done pretty well. Uh, win rates is 62% because we still have three more trades that is not close yet. All right, average win per trade US dollar is about 1,007 uh, because there's no losing trade. And the biggest win was NVIDIA. So if you look back on the history uh, that we have here, NVIDIA, uh, we got in on the April 26th. And this is the case study that we are looking for and we hope that you can also follow too. So you can see from here, Nvidia we enter E is the entry so you enter here 
right? We follow a specific profit target. You can do the red pentagon, but we find it that sometimes too long lah, because we want to trade. And uh, the way we did this forward testing, we have uh, a specific profit target, okay? Uh, which we normally uh, will review to our members, all right? If you happen to attend any of our internal trainings, uh, you know, we will talk more about the exit strategy too. If not, you can just follow your own profit target or you can wait until the red pen gone out. You all know, right, just now earlier on, if you notice NVIDIA, okay, has no red pentagon yet. So technically, if you follow from here to here, it is a 54% return. But notice, we got out already. It's only 35%. Huh? We got out. Let me just erase this. Okay, we only made the 35% uh, only. Right, okay. So why is that? Because usually if the market climb up a bit, we will start to take profit, okay? So that's the first one. Then we added uh, Quadcom, okay? Now, these are Magnificent 7, uh, which I do, uh, you can follow the Magnificent 7 list, but I do have a uh, uh, plus, you know, on top of that. So I have a little bit more. Some of these are related to the uh, generative AI. So you can put stocks like, we can follow this list if you want to. AMD, Taiwan Semiconductors, Quadcom, these are all semiconductors. Or you can put even Avango if you want to do that. So you look at Quadcoms, uh, made a 28%, 23%, gone in on uh, April 29, right, and uh, out on June 7, so which is last week. So you can see from here, right, uh, again, the entry is classic entry. We enter the day after the opening or end of the day of the for our for testing entry so always remember uh smart roby users enter on this day and uh you, you notice after we we hold it about a month or so uh we hit the bottom we, we exited let's look at qcom today whether that exit was good or not okay so put it over here All right, QCOM is still going up, right? We got up somewhere around here, but there was another leg going up, okay? So we leave it up to the user, lah, whether how much you want to run or not. So everybody will have a slight different experience. Entry, we already given to you, but exit is definitely up to you, lah, okay? Uh, what we have found out is uh, usually we trade between three to four weeks. A specific profit target could be 10, 15%. If the market is hot, you do a 20%. This comes a bit with a little bit of experience and that will uh, change from time to time or you can just wait until the red pentagon, okay? And, and then trade with it. So you can see here, this is our exit 7th of June. Okay, uh, next trade we have is 15% uh, return is Apple. So you can see from Apple, we enter on the 24th April and uh, we again run it until 5th of June and that was only a 15%. Next we have Alphabet which is uh, uh, Google here. You can see we enter here on the 23rd of April and then we got up here. Right? So we enter here, market gaps up and we exited somewhere around here. Definitely I think Google has done much better. Uh, AMD is that trade again? Huh? This is why I, I, I always talk about you see AMD enter 6th of May, right? Uh, we exited on the 7th of June. And let's see where is okay. AMD. Let's compare chart by chart. And, uh, and so this one was Good, we exited at the right spot, and then this is what. So this is something that the smart Roby user can also do, where you exit based on your own trading style. It could be three to four weeks, 
Generally, you felt that three to four weeks pretty good. Then you look back into a respective trade. You do maybe 10, 15 trade, whether your exit strategy is good or not. All right. Because the exit strategy can show that uh, you are good in reading the market. And definitely that would help. But more importantly is that you cannot grab everything. For example, in the case of NVIDIA, we got out at, you know, uh, we, we got out at uh, 35%. I feel good about it. Yeah, the market went up to 53%. But you can also say that that is for somebody else. Okay. Uh, I think the whole point I want to stress is we cannot be too greedy. As long as our portfolio is doing pretty well, I think we are fine. All right. There are three ongoing trades. Uh, Taiwan Semiconductors, which we gone in on 6th of May, 6th of May. And also uh, uh, Apple, we gone back in again. Right. So the next trade will likely to be Google, right? So we're just waiting for Google green pattern come in we're going so Taiwan semiconductor is up 10 percent and Microsoft the key thing is uh for the magnificent seven I always think that you should add a few more plus inside there that you feel uh should be in the same generative AI that way you get more hit list all right so if that you can understand that point that's pretty good I think uh the whole point is to have many many candidates and then trade along that so what to do next is to set up your magnificent watch list like I did here. All right, magnificent seven, seven plus, some of these, right? And watch out them on a daily because once you set it up every day again, you can open it like what I show you here. Just now the target is just Google waiting for it. But of course it will have the uh, alert coming to you too, All right? And also understand the market stages that your stock market background is also a very important thing know where it is or not. So current trade idea is you can check out on Google. What is Google? How is Google performing? Then you just need to go to the individual under S&P 500 here. Okay, S&P 500. Hit the Robby chart and you go over to uh, Google. stock chart here all right uh, 175 I think it's down today and you can see uh, current is rate the last rate was 23 of May uh, still considered to be weak all right let's look at the trading plan you can look at the trading plan here okay you can see the trading plan okay uh, there are five uh, for alphabet class A2 S, but it's quite strong all right, uh, it's currently in the week. Uh, next EPS is 30th of June, right? And R1 is 180. Weekly resistance is 180. Last closing by 175. So what it simply means is Google, you can enter at 180 or wait for the green pentagon, right? Because we use the weekly resistance as our entry price. Okay, last closing is 175 which is this one here so this is right this no sorry this was the exit date okay this was the exit date so we bring out our Google uh, yeah this one here Google alphabet Okay, currently it's in weak condition. Uh, so the entry is 180, which is just up here. Yeah, it's always good to have a, a, a chart base on the website. Yeah, so like this, because the, oops, so the handphone and the thing came up. So that's the trading plan. So exit strategy, if you have already exit, okay, let's look at the exit strategy is, uh, is in uh, red pentagon, but look out for strength. Should it turn green, there's a test on the 13th of June, which is this bar here, okay? Uh, with more SOS over SOW, they are sign that strong condition. I'll look out for uptrend, okay? So you have to look out for uptrend. Watch for any breakout. Breakdown as a closing price is that weekly support, okay? It's close to it. The support may be retested again. So that's why I say it here. By reading the uh, exit strategy, 
you have some sort of uh, description where the market is okay uh, uh, s1 support one is 169 which is around here which is only 3.2 percent and the next big support at 150 which is stage two okay so use this information to plan your entry okay with this uh, uh, having in, having said that you will know but for those of you who just can work on the green pentagon that would be the easiest to get into the list but of course if you want to do a bit of discretion this will be generally using the information that we have here okay let's look at some news if they have oh there's no related news on google okay okay we'll come back to this one here maybe the news pickup wasn't that great all right so how can i get into aapi similar to that just now what we have did and the same thing go for nvidia you can put nvidia here right and we can look at the exit strategy okay so look at the exit strategy all right this is the exit strategy you can see from here a uh, strong indication but be cautious should nvidia corporation turn weak with red panel there's a line change zero days ago and there is a line change on the fifth. They're equally sign of strength and weakness for Sigma. It's above the ATR stop loss. The further S1, uh, the further away, the further below S1 and S2, the better it is. So you want the market moving higher, not to retest back the support. Okay, so you have the resistance, which is 195. Okay, uh, you got the support at 93. And uh, right now it's 135. Right, let's take a look at the chart that we have here. Uh, bring up NVIDIA. It's always good when you read this. Uh, you have the chart in front of you. And then at least you know the direction. So you can see here, uh, the weekly support is 118, which is around here, 118, right? Uh, which is 12%. Last closing price is 135, okay, which is here which is this here 135 this one is a 135 right and uh, you got the resistance level okay yeah resistance level r1 is 195 that's a 45 percent up there based on 195 it's really really up 40 over can this thing go up to 195 right usually we don't want to do that we rather use the red pentagon first but who knows huh if it goes up to 195 would definitely be be great for this uh basis here okay any questions all right any comments so we do think that our smart robi use uh to this trading plan that's always a way for you to do well just like our members okay now with the magnificent seven you can see using the trading board you can get pretty good results so you can see some of our members who've been following uh, for some time right uh achieving a 54 percent return a 46 percent return right and a 35 percent return for the period during this competition that we started in march 2024 right uh we have our forward testing virtual trading so you can see the malaysian are doing pretty well which we will showcase also on this coming uh saturday and sunday so if you are in mid valley check us out at boot 103 for so for my summary currently the understand that 20 percent of the u.s market smp is led by magnetic 7 and some of the plus if you don't trade them then you're adding you know baggage into your 2024 performance because uh, for me i do trade them and i do have them in here and he has done very very well uh, the generative AI stocks, the, the uh, Apple, the Microsoft, I do have them, right? So Smart Roby apps is a low cost solution to get into the AI team. Setting it up is your first step and then going from there. So I will definitely share more on this coming uh, Saturday and Sunday. Do pop by, you know, it came that, you know, I was listening to you on Facebook. So I want to come and say hello. And uh, we have uh, every Monday and Friday, we have our sharing session, the breakfast show that I do. And I do believe going forward, I believe the 
knowledge sharing that we've been doing in our breakfast show and the good support that uh, Kat Nora have been doing, right? Uh, definitely help many of you in here. If you have done well, give us a good review. If you haven't done pretty well, give us a feedback and we are there to help you, to assist you. Especially 2024, we've been sounding since January. It's going to be a great year. It's just that how are you going to capitalize on it? All right, come and see us on Saturday and Sunday, uh, boot 103, okay, and meet us there. We catch up some photos or follow me on the breakfast show, right? So that's all I have for tonight. Hopefully, the Magnificent 7 sharing that I do using the watches will help you to monitor better in here. And don't forget to subscribe to our Telegram chat room for our stock market information education so you can follow it. Thanks you again. I appreciate your time spent with me. Right. I hope you all learned something tonight. All right. I'll see you in Mid Valley. All right. Good night.